Welcome back to the Sunshine Owl. We are now on week three. If you are following Vanessa's colorways, please refer to the written pattern, which shows you the different colors that she's used. Last week, we worked rounds 15 to 26 of the pattern, and round 22 proved to be quite interesting, but we persevered and we worked our way through it. Your total stitch count is now 26 V stitches, 10 double crochets, including corner, two chain two spaces per side. This week we'll be working rounds 27 to 37, which is a total of 11 rounds. Yes, it is fewer rounds than last week, but your blanket is growing, so it's going to take you a little longer to work your way around. Round 27 of the Sunshine Owl Cow. To start, go to any one of your two chain corner spaces and either join using your own method or a standing half double crochet. My preferred method is always using standing stitches. So to start, start with a slip stitch on the hook, yarn over once, into the space, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. It can be a little bit tricky, especially with a half double crochet, but it soon comes very easily once you're used to doing it. Do two half double crochets, two chains, and another two half double crochets. It's very important to note that in this particular pattern, Vanessa always anticipates that you will work in the first hidden stitch unless you are told specifically to skip it. So we're going to work in that first hidden stitch and then we are going to work 88 half double crochets across this side. It seems very easy but you do just need to be a little bit careful when you get to your V stitches from the previous round and I will show you that in a moment. With the V-stitch, you need to make sure that you're working three stitches across this. The first one will be there, one. The second one will be in the chain from the V-stitch, two. And the third one will be in the second double crochet of the V-stitch. So Let's just see that again. First one into the first double crochet of the V-stitch, half double crochet second one into the one chain space and the third one into the second double crochet of the V from your previous round. Be very careful on this round not to miss out one of those stitches because it will have an impact on future rounds. Each end, each edge is exactly the same so I will leave you now and I will see you when you're back here and you've joined the row together. Okay, I'm now at the end of round 27. I haven't joined yet. I want to just discuss the, jo the different joining methods before we move on to the next round. You can either join by slip stitching into the top of the first stitch, like so, or Another method which is known as the invisible join, I'll cut a yarn, pull it through, take a darning needle and skipping the first stitch, go into the second stitch, pull it up, go back and insert your needle through the last stitch from the center just into the back loop and then just anchor it in that first stitch there and pull it together. It makes a very very nice join. While I've got the yarn on the hook uh, on the needle I am also just going to show you my preferred method for finishing off. Please bear with me if you've seen this in previous visit, uh, videos some people will only be starting to use the videos from this point onwards. Insert 
through an area that has reasonable amount of stitches to hold the yarn nice and firm. Pull it through once. Oops, I've managed to pull it out the needle. Let's just get that back in. Then taking a slightly different path, wind it through the yarn and pull it through and again taking a slightly different path for the third time take it back this will prevent your work from unraveling simply crocheting over the ends will not prevent that from happening and it's a real tragedy when you've put so many hours and so much hard work and effort into a piece of work and it starts unraveling because the ends haven't been sewn away properly just remember that if you gift a item to a friend and they see a loose end they may just cut it and the next thing you know the work deteriorates and it has a big hole in it so there we go my ends neatly sewn away and that is the end of row 27 I'll see you for row it's 28 to work on round 28 of the sunshine owl cow in we're going to join in any of the corners and we are going to join with three single and make three single crochets into the chain space so I've used a standing single crochet let me go back and just do that again for those of you who are not used to using single crochets you may use your the other method of um, using a chain to do it but I prefer the single crochet make a slip stitch and without going over the yarn go into the chain space pull up a loop and pull through both so that's one two three okay then what we're going to do next is we are going to now work one back post single crochet into each of the next 92 stitches so back post single crochet go around your first post just see where that is and pull through the loop I will show it to you again the first one tends to be a little bit fiddly when it's close to the edge eventually get it through let me try again just doesn't want to come and that's bit oops dropped it again there we go got it and take it off so what you're going to do is push your hook from the back to the front and put it around the next back post these are quite close together so it's quite tricky and then pull the loop up and take off both stitches so push it through through pull it up take off both you see it's getting a lot easier now I do find that it helps but for least bear with me it helps when you push it through you just turn your hook and do it like that so we push it through, turn the hook so it's hooking on, and like that. All four edges are going to be worked exactly the same way. So it will be three single crochets in each of your chain um, spaces from the previous round, and 92 back post single crochets in between the corners. I will see you when you get to this area over here, which is the end of the row. Please join and wait for me. It's very, very easy to miss a stitch when you're working into these um, V's from the previous row. So I urge you all to just take a minute before you carry on to round 28 to count these stitches very carefully. You should have 92 stitches, including the corner. So from that corner to that corner, you should count 92 half double crochets. Please check each side carefully to avoid you having to do a whole lot of ripping and rework at a later stage. 
Okay, I'm going to digress slightly to show you how you can fix a problem without actually frogging a whole row. I've made a mistake here. Instead of the three single crochets in the corner, I've done two, two chains and two. So I need to fix this. Very, very straightforward to do. I'm going to simply cut it out. And then I'm going to get rid of this. And I'm going to just use this needle here to unravel a little bit of this to give me an end that I can then sew away when I'm finished. So just watch what I'm doing here. I'm just unraveling a piece. I've got to just find the right bit. And I'm going to take it back a bit further and there and there. If you're not interested in this, then you can just fast forward through the video. But it is quite a nice technique. So I've got rid of that. This side's a little bit easier because it will just unravel once I've got it started. And I'm going to take it back to there. Okay, so there I've taken it back to a point. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to just put the last two stitches onto there. I'm now going to join in a new piece of yarn. Oops, a little bit tricky. Okay, take these two bits to the side. And I'm going to fix this here. Single crochet, back post, one, two, oops, feeling a little bit clumsy at the moment. There we go, two and three. Now I'm going to fix my corner, one, two, three, and then I am going to do my single back post double crochets, which I unraveled earlier. Okay, and now I'm simply going to join it into there. Try that join again, just picking up more than one loop. Just to make it a bit more secure. You can see what I'm doing there. Can't seem to get it through. There we go. And join with a single crochet. And there you go, the problem is solved. All I have to do now is sew away the ends. And without having to rip the whole row, we can now continue. Okay, now we're going to go on to round 29. Again, the pattern requires two double crochet, two chain, two double crochet in the corner. So what I am going to do is join this in the second single crochet, which is that one there. And I'm going to do my standing double crochet and another one. Two chain, one, two, and another two double crochets. The pattern then calls for two double crochets over the next two, uh, one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So we have that. We're then told to double crochet three together over the next three stitches. So we start our double crochet, we don't finish it, we leave the last loop on the hook. Two and three. We are double crocheting three together and once we've got those three, one, two, three, we finish off by pulling a loop through all of those. We're then going to do two chains 
and then we're going to do the same thing all the way along without skipping any one two three and pull through and two chains and again one take one off two take one off three take one off and then through all of them so this is what we're going to do all the way along that edge and we will finish up with doing this 29 times i'll see you at the other corner in just a minute right we're now at the end of that edge just before the corner you should now have 30 clusters in total um, the 29 plus the first one that you did then we're going to do two double crochets one two and then we're going to work our corner in the second single crochet of the previous round and in there we're going to do two double crochets one two two chains and two double crochets just to get you started on the next edge remember that the next two stitches need to have a double crochet and then we do our double crochet three together cluster and two chains and another 29 so that we have a total of 30 of these across each edge please continue until you at the end of this particular row and i will see you for row 30 shortly at this stage you should have now completed round 29 and if you go back and count you should have 30 clusters on each side 29 two chain spaces and eight double crochets including the two in each corner two four and on the other side six eight okay please do take the time to count so that you don't land up having to frog at a later okay, stage we're now at the beginning of round 30 and it starts with a very basic two double crochet two chain two double crochet into the any corner from the previous round in this particular round Vanessa calls for you to skip the first hidden stitch and this is clearly indicated in the pattern so now we're going to skip that one and in the next three we're going to make a double crochet two three we're going to make one more double crochet into the top of this first cluster oops yarn is splitting quite badly then we're going to continue and work three double crochets in each of the two chain spaces from the previous row okay so we continue like that one two three double crochet in each of those two chain spaces one two three Okay, you'll actually do that 29 times the three double crochets into the two chain spaces and you will have four stitches left before your corner at the other end of the edge please wait for me there and I'll show you what to do right I've just finished with my last three uh, double crochets in the last two chain space from the previous row now we're going to do one double crochet sorry splitting again one double crochet into the top of that cluster from the last row and then four into one two three four double crochets one two three and four and we're now back at our corner 
We're going to do one, two, three, one, two chains and another two double crochets. Okay, just to turn the corner for you again, remember to skip the first hidden stitch this time round. Do your one, two, three double crochets and then a fourth one into the top of that cluster and then off we go again with our three double crochets into the two chain space. Each row should have 100 double crochets from corner to corner and you've got two chains in each corner. Please do count as you go along to avoid problems later. Continue to the end of the row and I will see you for row 31. Row 31 is slightly more challenging than some of the previous rows so you need to concentrate and take your time with it. We start in any chain space in a corner with three single crochets. One, two, three single crochets. And then what we're going to do next is using the hidden stitch, we're going to put in one single crochet and continue until we have done seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. We're now going to be working a front post double crochet into the cluster on row 29. So we're going to be moving down onto this particular cluster there. So yarn over round the hook, pull up a loop, through two, through two. Now just for this particular one, you're not going to miss a stitch behind it. We've worked into that stitch there. We're not going to miss a stitch. We're now going to go into that stitch, one, and that one, two single crochets. Just have a look at that, visualize it. We've got this joined to that row, and then we've got one, two. Then we're moving on to our next cluster. Yarn over the hook, front post, double crochet, pull up a loop. Oh, sorry, let me do that again. Pull up a loop through two, through two. Now from this point onwards, you will skip the stitch behind. So the first stitch in your three double crochet from the previous row, you'll always skip that stitch. And you will work your two single crochets in that stitch. It's only on the first one that you don't skip that stitch. So to continue, front post double crochet round there. Skip that stitch, one, two. Front post double crochet round there. Skip that stitch, one, two. Continue like this until you get to the last three double crochet cluster on this edge and I will pick up with you there. Right, now worked row 31 on the first edge to the point where we have now done our final uh, front post double crochet onto the cluster there. You'll now see that you've got two, four, six, seven stitches left. At this point, we're not going to skip a stitch. We're going to work a single crochet in each of these stitches. So we're going to go back there and we're going to work one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, let's go around the corner again. One, two, 
three single crochets, work seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, at this point we're going to now do our front post double crochet around that cluster from row 29. And because we're at the beginning of the row, we're not going to skip a stitch. We're going to work into these two here. One, two. Okay, so continue with that. Just bearing in mind when you get to the end of this edge, when you get to this point, you will work seven. You don't skip a stitch over there. And I will see you at the end of the row. And we will move on to the next one. Right, for row 32, we're going to join in the second stitch of the three single crochets from the previous round in the corner and do two half double crochets. Come on, start that again. Doesn't want to pull through, being stubborn. half double crochets two chains and two more half double crochets very straightforward and then we are going to do a half double crochet in every stitch including the hidden stitch all the way to the next corner So a half double crochet all the way to the next corner. When you get to the next corner, repeat your two half double crochet, two chain half double crochet, and your half double crochet in every stitch all the way around until we're back at this point here. And then we will carry on with row 33. On row 32, each round should have 108 Half double crochets per side and that will include the two per corner. Please remember to count to avoid problems later on. One more little note about this row. If you are going to follow Vanessa's pattern then you won't cut your yarn at the end of this row. We're going to do the next three rows in the same color to form a Next frame. row that we're going to work on is row 33. If you haven't finished off your work and you continue in the same color, please slip stitch to the nearest corner and start with two chains as your first double crochet. If you have fastened off, as I have because I'm starting a new ball, uh, then start with two double crochets, two chain and two double crochets in that first corner. This is a very straightforward row, so all you're going to do is work a double crochet in every stitch, including your hidden stitch. Oh, I'm battling to get into this one, all the way to the other corner. When you get to the next corner, please make another two double crochet, two chain, two double crochet, and then continue with the double crochets in every stitch or and corners all the way around. Your stitch count will be 112 double crochets per side, and that includes the two on the corner. So 112, including the two in the corner. I'll see you at the end of the row. Four, throw, thirty. Welcome to round 34 of the Sunshine Owl Cal. This is also going to be quite an easy round, but before we get on to that, let's just join round 33 with a slip stitch. Because I'm using the same color, I'm going to slip stitch to the first corner. If you have changed colors, then please join your work in any of one of the corners and um, 
going to start with your version of the first double crochet. In this particular instance, I'm going to do two chains to start it, and then we're going to do two half double crochets, two chains, and another two half double crochets. Very straightforward corner. Now, the rest of the uh, round is very straightforward as well. We're now going to do 112 half double crochets, remembering to work in the first hidden stitch. 112 half double crochets all the way to the next corner. When you get to the next corner, do your two half double crochets, two chains, two half double crochets, and continue all the way around to the beginning. And I will see you for round 35. Just something else to think about. If your work is starting to get a little bit wavy at this stage, you may want to go down a half or a full hook size to bring it back again. It does sometimes happen as the work grows that it just becomes a little bit too loose on the outer edges. Going down to a slightly smaller hook will sort this out. I've just recently done that. And my work is back nice and straight again. See you a bit later. You should now have completed round 34. Your stitch count for round 34 should be 116 half double crochets per side. That includes two per corner. Moving on now to round 35. Go to any uh, corner space and we're going to make one single crochet two chain, one single crochet. This is a very straightforward round. So it's one single crochet, two chain, one single crochet, and then all the way to the next corner, we're going to do a back post single crochet. We do that again slowly for those of you who are unfamiliar with the stitch. Through the work and through to the back, pull up a loop, sometimes a little bit tricky but once you get going it's much easier and pull through both. So again we're going to go in from the back, around the post of the stitch, pull up a loop and complete the single crochet. One more time, in from the back of the work to the front, around the post, pull up a loop and complete your stitch. When you get to the next corner do your single crochet, two chain single crochet and then do your back post single crochets all the way until you get back to the beginning. And I will meet up with you for round 36. Your stitch count for round 35 will be 118 back post single crochets per side and one single crochet per corner. Catch you later. Right, welcome back. We are about to start round 36, which is the second last row of week three of the Sunshine Owl Cow. This row is relatively straightforward. You just need to be a little bit careful in the corners because they are asymmetrical. We're going to start with two half double crochets in a corner space one two and then two chain and now is the important bit to note here we're only going to do one half double crochet before moving on to the sides of this particular row okay so it's asymmetrical it's two Two half double crochets, two chain and one half double crochet. We're then going to do 118 half double crochets along the edge. Please remember to start in the um, in the hidden stitch. Sorry, I'm getting rather tired. It's been a long day. And we're going to keep going until we get to the next corner. Stop just before the corner and I'll catch up with you there. I'm now at the second corner of round 36. 
And just to reiterate the importance of having that slightly asymmetrical um, situation here. So we're going to do two half double crochets, two chain, and one half double crochet. And we work it exactly the same for the balance of the corners and a half double crochet in each stitch. Each side should have a 121 half double crochets. Please count this carefully as this is very, very important for the next row, which is our final row of the week, round 37. I will see you at the end of round 36. We are now going to start on the last row of week 3. It's a reasonably straightforward row. Into your corner space, a single crochet, two chains and another single crochet. Then into the first hidden stitch, one single crochet. Okay, then we're going to skip one, two, three, four stitches and into the fifth stitch we're going to do nine double crochets. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're now going to skip four more stitches. That's skip one, two, three, four, and in the fifth stitch we're going to do a single crochet. That anchors this pretty little um, I can't remember what it's called right now, I'm too tired. Okay, and so we're then going to move on and we're going to skip one, one, two, three, four again. And in the fifth stitch, we're going to work nine double crochets. Just at this point I'd like to give you a note from Vanessa. She says that over the next few rows you will need to keep an eye on your tension. If there's a slight pull in your square it can generally be sorted out with blocking. If you find it is pulling too much try going to a slightly bigger hook to even out your tension. So we're going to now skip again one two three four and into the fifth stitch we're going to work a single crochet again skipping four one two three four and into the fifth stitch work nine double crochets And anchor that with a single crochet in the fifth stitch. So I'm missing four. One, two, three, four. And a single crochet. Continue like this until you have done 12 of these. And then I will see you just before the next corner. Okay, once you've worked the 12 fans, you should land up in the last stitch just before your two chain space of the next corner and then it's pretty straightforward working a single crochet into that space two chain another single crochet into the same space and then working that first stitch into your hidden stitch this one's really hiding away from me and First single crochet into the hidden stitch. Now we carry on by missing one, two, three, four stitches and then working our nine double crochets. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
skipping five stitches or well, as sorry skipping four and working in the fifth one two three four and a single crochet in the fifth so that's what your corner is going to look like carry on all the way around and I will see you when week four is released have a lovely time goodbye for now